welcome once again to another episode of Design on Demand. I'm Matthew McMaster, and this is part four of our four-part series on Black Chrome. Today, Jamie and Ryan, our two product managers, will be discussing how to order our products, stages and linear guides, as well as answering some very common questions about Black Chrome. If you missed parts one through three, you can click here or here or here to catch up. Anyway, let's go to Jamie and Ryan. Great. So we've gone over the different types of, uh, of applications for low temperature black chrome. We've gone over some of the products that, uh, that we offer, and we've gone over what it's all about. So uh, how do you order it, Ryan? Well, one great way to do that is, is by configuring uh, our components on, on the website. And uh, you're seeing the uh, MisumiUSA.com uh, web address there. And uh, you can actually search low temperature black chrome uh, on the website, and it'll give you a list of several hundred products where we offer the uh, the plating system. Or, or you can just search black chrome. Black chrome. If Indeed. you want to shorten it up a little bit. Yeah. Indeed. Um, but like I mentioned, uh, you're going to be able to configure the product on the site. So if you were looking at a linear shaft, for example, you would uh, enter your major diameter, either inch or metric. And we have a range of different options in, in either uh, category. You uh, enter your machining options, and then you get down to the surface treatment, which is basically the uh, plating system you like to use. Mm -hmm. As you can see there, the uh, three options that are outlined for this specific shaft, which is an uh, SFJ10, I believe, which is just kind of a basic 10 millimeter uh, cut to length linear shaft, are not provided hard uh, chrome plating, which is basically a thin, dense chrome or uh, a low temperature black chrome, which is uh, the, the center of discussion for today. So um, once you select one of those three options, uh, you're gonna be able to get a configured part number, which incorporates both your uh, required length. Um, if you had selected any end machining, uh, it would incorporate uh, those options as well, as well as the plating system you've, uh, you've uh, spec'd out. And then you'll be able to uh, basically check price and delivery uh, on the website. We actually, guarantee our, our deliveries for uh, quantities you can see there. So if we say three days, it will absolutely be there in, in three days. Um, and uh, it's great. Our pricing system is very transparent, so you uh, you can see the pricing right there. So. so I think it's important to point out that the uh, the lead time of three days would generally be when it ships from correct. The, uh, the warehouse in America, not yes. the warehouse or another location that's somewhere else in the world, and then you have to wait for it to transit around. It's shipping. Uh, the, the, the lead time that's represented is that that lead time, and and then whatever transit time it takes to get to the customer. Indeed. After that, so very sure. very good. Yeah. Very good. Not not having to wait for it to, sure. to to hop on a boat or something. So it's good. So what about what about a stage, Ryan? What about uh, a stage? You know, we, we went over that you could get the stage uh, and linear guide, uh, both with the low temperature black chrome on it. So how do you configure that? Well, if we can see here on the screen, uh, we found a stage, a size 25 stage, and we, we typed it right in there, uh, XSG25. And uh, you can see on the website that the uh, one of the options, there's two plating choice options there. We've got an electroless nickel, and we've got uh, the low temperature black chrome. And the most impressive part about this particular one is that uh, you can see with low temperature black chrome, that has a one day lead time, which means that's going to be shipping out right out of uh, the greater Chicago area yeah. in uh, one day. Absolutely. So we're going to get that out to you uh, very quickly in this particular case. Not going to be the case with all of them, but uh, certainly the case for this one. So that's that's very impressive. Absolutely. All right. So we've gone over pretty much everything that we had to go over uh, today. So let's talk about the contact information. Let's say we've inspired a customer that they are interested in configuring a low temperature black chrome on uh, on a product that maybe they hadn't thought about before. And I frankly, uh, don't see how this couldn't be inspirational. Right. This is definitely inspirational. So. So let's say they, they need help uh, sizing an application or they go onto the website and they, uh, they don't find low temp black chrome as an option for a specific part mm -hmm. and they'd like some help. What do they do? 
Well, they're certainly able to call us uh, at the uh, toll-free number uh, listed there. They can also email us at uh, engineering at misumiusa.com. Mm -hmm. We're here from 8 to 7, uh, five days a week. And, uh, and it's not just the plating system. If you find a, uh, if you want a keyway that's slightly longer than, than the wide range of, uh, you know, standard machining options so, available on so the website. a little special, little special machine that's not, uh, not called out on the website. Well, I'd say we, we can look at that. We have, uh, our configurator incorporates the overwhelming majority of, uh, almost anything that could conceivably be machined onto a shaft. Right. But if you think of some option that is not incorporated onto the website or in the website on the configurator, um, certainly you're, you're, you're encouraged to reach out to us, uh, cause, cause oftentimes, uh, we can actually complete that, uh, that whole process for you. Right. So rather than getting a, a machine shaft with, uh, just OD threads on the outside of the, the, the shaft, and then you're going to put a keyway or a wrench flat on it when you get it in house, uh, just call us and we can complete that, that, that entire process for you. Or let's say that, uh. You're, you're sizing up uh, an actuator or a ball screw or a linear guide, anything like that, and you're just not quite sure what, what the best choice would be for your application. Um, if, you, if you have the application specifics, your loads, weights, um, moments, uh, concerns with the environments or anything like that, you can certainly give us a call and we can get you over to somebody that uh, in engineering that would be glad to help you out with your specific application, get you... Uh, Pointed in the right direction, sized up, and uh, and on your way. Absolutely. So, yeah, definitely, I encourage you to uh, to give us a call. All right. So we've we've gone over all the different applications and everything that uh, for for low ten black chrome showed you the products. Um, we're pretty much done. Now what we're going to do is go over some questions, um, some common questions that uh, that folks have had in the past about the product. We'll answer those questions the best that we can. Um, and if you have other questions that, that we haven't spoken to so far today uh, that you would really like to have answered, please email us at uh, engineering at masumiusa.com or you can email Ryan or I uh, individually. We'll be happy to take care of you. Either way, you're going to get taken care of. Uh, definitely test us out and, and you'll see uh, how quickly uh, we, we are good at responding to you. Um, so the first question, what is the plating th thickness? Also, what thickness on the plating uh, does it vary uh, from product to product? Uh, and the answer is, yes, it does. Uh, for a, a shaft, a linear shaft such as this, uh, you're looking at a plating thickness of about one to two microns. Whereas a linear guide uh, or a linear bushing is going to have a plating thickness of about five microns. So that's quite quite a, a range of difference in the in the actual thickness of the of the uh, low temp black chrome. Question number two: You mentioned that the plating doesn't crack, but it must wear over time. Does the shaft appearance change as it wears? The answer is yes, it does, and that's one of the core benefits of the product. Because if you're looking at a, a as I think I mentioned, if you're looking at a thin dense chrome plate. Uh, chrome looks remarkably similar to just a standard polished uh, carbon seal surface. And one of the benefits of, of cold black chrome is that you can actually see the wear and, and it's visually uh, indicative of when the product actually needs to be changed. Um, so if you saw a shaft that is worn a little bit, I don't know if you can quite see this uh, out there at home, but uh, if you see a little bit of wear, you know it's about time to change the product, whereas with a, a chrome product, um, over carbon steel, you're really not going to have a visual indication of uh, plating failure until you actually see oxidation start to occur, which is a, a big drawback. Well, at least with this one, it has uh, varying shades of black on it. Yep. So it, at least you can tell that there are still uh, there's still some on there. Yes, you and, can. And depending on your application, perhaps varying shades of black would still be okay. Absolutely. But if we got to no black then we would know that uh, maybe maybe it was time to, to yes. replace that shaft. So that's that's a very, very good good question that, that you uh, answered there, Ryan. So uh, as a point of clarification, uh, we talk about uh, long life uh, and the salt spray of 160, 168 hours. Um, what, what are some typical life that, that we've heard of at Masumi using the, uh, the, the cold uh, black chrome? 
Well, we've heard of uh, customers who actually had uh, shafts mounted for a, a period of about 10 years without seeing uh, wow. an, uh, any corrosion uh, whatsoever. Um, obviously, your typical lifespan of any product, uh, any linear product, is going to vary based on duty cycle. Uh, but but the core pot point I, I wanted to make is this is really the the most robust plating solution available in the marketplace. Right. And uh, relative to any other solution you might be able to put in an application, uh, you're almost certainly going to get better life out of a, a cold black chrome product than than any other uh, comparable plating solution or or other possible plating solution. That's it's still you hear ten years and it's it's quite impressive for sure. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly you know what the what the different applications are where, where we've gotten this sort of message but uh, the, the fact is like you said it's it's certainly a long-lasting plating solution that uh, depending on your application could be uh, worth worth trying for sure absolutely so that's all we've got uh, for today thank thank you for your time and joining us here at uh, Misumi we look forward to hearing you uh, hearing from you with any other questions and uh, anything else that you might have uh, application-wise, uh, give engineering uh, at Masumi USA a try, a try. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely appreciate your time. Thank you. Well, there you have it. This ends our four-part series on Black Chrome. We hope you've enjoyed it, and we hope you've learned something, too. Be on the lookout for brand new episodes of Design on Demand, as well as some other great content that we'll be putting out. As always, check out our social media and don't forget to check out our brand new blog, the Masumi Mech Lab. I can't say it enough. You can find the links to those in the description below. If you like this video or any of our other videos, subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you back.